Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an exciting topic to delve into, stresses in deep beams. Deep beams are a crucial structural element used in various engineering and construction projects. In this video, we'll explore the mechanics behind deep beams and the essential design principles to ensure their stability and safety. So, let's get started. First things first, what exactly are deep beams? Well, deep beams are beams with a significant depth-to-span ratio, typically more than two. In practical terms, these beams are often used to transfer heavy loads over short spans or to provide additional support in critical areas of a structure. They are commonly found in buildings, bridges, parking structures, and other infrastructure projects. Now, let's discuss the forces and stresses that come into play in deep beams. When loads are applied to a deep beam, it undergoes both bending and shear. Unlike conventional beams, deep beams experience a complex distribution of stresses due to their depth. Bending Stresses The primary bending stress in deep beams is tensile stress at the bottom fiber and compressive stress at the top fiber. This distribution occurs because the depth of the beam allows for a larger moment of inertia, which significantly affects the bending behavior. Shear Stresses In deep beams, shear stresses also play a critical role. The shear forces in these beams are often concentrated near the supports, making the design more challenging. It is vital to consider the contribution of shear stresses when analyzing and designing deep beams. Now, let's move on to the essential design considerations for deep beams. Proper design is crucial to ensure the safety and structural integrity of the entire system. Shear Reinforcement Given that shear stresses can be significant in deep beams, proper shear reinforcement is essential. Engineers often use stirrups or vertical links to improve the shear capacity of these beams. The arrangement and spacing of these reinforcements must adhere to specific design codes and standards. Adequate Depth The depth of the deep beam is a vital parameter in its design. A larger depth-to-span ratio provides higher bending resistance and allows for a more even distribution of stresses. However, an excessive depth may lead to uneconomical designs, so it's essential to strike a balance. Web Reinforcement To enhance the shear capacity and control diagonal cracking, web reinforcement is often employed. This can be achieved by using steel plates, diagonal bars, or inclined struts. Load Distribution Due to the complex nature of stresses and deep beams, ensuring proper load distribution is critical. Uniform load distribution prevents localized failures and ensures the beam can handle the applied loads efficiently. Understanding the stresses in deep beams is fundamental to designing safe and reliable structures. By considering the bending and shear forces and adhering to critical design principles, engineers can create deep beams capable of handling heavy loads and maintaining structural integrity. Remember, the success of any construction project relies on a solid understanding of the underlying mechanics. We hope this video has provided you with valuable insights into the world of deep beams. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our future content. As always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Happy engineering!